Hey booktube, Science Fiction Reads here with a uh, recent reads and somewhat of a book haul. I got a few new books recently. Um, I have not read much lately, although I've been reading. Um, the Hard SF Renaissance Anthology by uh, David G. Hartwell and Catherine Kramer. I've put a decent dent in that. Um, it turns out I've read a little more in here than I thought I had. Uh, I thought I had only read the Reynolds story, but I've also read a Paul McCauley story in here called Reef. There's a Paul Anderson story in here called Genesis, which um, I think it was the last novel he wrote, which I have read, but um, maybe he expanded that from a short story because I started reading it. I'm like, I've already read this. But the bizarre thing is, and this only has ever happened to me once, when I was reading Genesis years ago by Paul Anderson, I wasn't particularly enjoying it. I guess it was the last, I'm pretty sure it's the last book he published. I should have confirmed that. Um, I wasn't really enjoying it anyways. And I get to the last 30 pages and it's actually the previous 30 pages reprinted. It was the most bizarre printing error I've ever come across. And I'd, probably the only time I've ever thrown a book across the room, I threw it straight into the recycling. <laughs> Um, so I've skipped a couple things that I've already read, but it's awesome. Um, I've already ordered, uh, these two had a previous anthology called Ascent of Wonders, which is also hard SF. I ordered that and they've got a space opera anthology that I'm going to eventually break down and pay for because, um, I really like their collections. So I'm getting through that. It's taking forever. Uh, then I read, uh, Guild in Fire by Stephen R. Donaldson. This is literally just, like, a chapter from, I think, Ill Earth War, the second in the first Thomas Covenant, uh, Chronicles. Yeah, second book in the trilogy. This is just a chapter that was taken out. I mean, if you were to read this without having read the other stuff, uh, you would be shaking your, you wouldn't know what you just read. It makes, it wouldn't make much sense. Um, and really it did, it didn't really add much. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there was an interesting note from the author why, I mean, he had to cut it because it was too long to begin with, but also it was the only, I think up until that point, this was the only part of the trilogy that had a, this would have been the only chapter from the point of view of someone other than Thomas Covenant with Thomas Covenant not there which kind of puts in doubt the whole, is the land real or not? Because uh, if you're following Korik, the Bloodguard character in here, um, well, that would suggest that the land is real and Covenant is not hallucinating or in a coma or anything. So I did find that interesting and it does make sense to cut it for that reason alone. Um, still cool. I mean, this was 70 pages and like 15 of them are illustrated. Just a neat curio. Uh, so I read that, and then uh, this just arrived the other day. Forces, Forces by Greg Egan. Um, this is a limited edition subterranean press. I believe this would be the only subterranean press I have that's not an Alistair Reynolds book. Um, mine's number 958. Um, and this was good. I haven't read much Egan. Um, but I read some of his short stories in that anthology there and uh, really enjoyed them. So I, this has been on my mind for a while, so I went ahead and ordered it, read it in a couple days. It's about uh, knowledgeable but primitive uh, society on a planet that it, um, orbits another planet. They orbit very close and um, these people are running out of uh, resources. The planet's kind of, the ecosphere is kind of failing them. And they decide to build an ice bridge from one planet uh, to the other. And of course, it's Greg Egan, it's hard SF, so uh, it sounds fantastical, but uh, he makes it make sense. It was pretty neat. I got this for super cheap online, considering it's, you know, a subterranean press limited edition. Pretty sweet. Um, and that's all I've read lately. I'm still reading through the, um, the hard SF uh, renaissance. But I have gotten a few new books here. I've got this just today, which I've never heard of, Desmond Morris, In Rock. Um, 
This is, I guess, a fantasy, maybe urban fantasy. It's from, I think, the early 90s, late 80s. Oh, it's from 1983. Uh, and judging from the synopsis, it's about a guy who kind of walks inside of a hollow rock and discovers a fantasy world in there. Pretty wild. Um, it was $2, so maybe one day I'll check that out. I also got um, Philip Jose Farmer, uh, River, World, yeah, River World, and other stories. So I haven't even really looked at what's in here, but... Um, it's all stuff from the 70s. Yeah, so I don't, I haven't really read much, uh, much of his short fiction. Um, here's one I found just today. That, uh, I was excited to find this because I've wanted this for so long. Uh, Carl Schroeder, Schroeder uh, Son of Sons. This is the first in the uh, Verga series. Um, I've wanted these books for so long, but they're expensive-ish to buy them new. Um, I think there's an omnibus of the first two or three that's nice, but again, it's expensive. So I've got book one now. I'm not going to read it until I have at least the second in the series. Um, I think it's space opera-ish. It's like a kind of zero gravity giant environment these people live in or something. I guess it's probably been a couple of years since I've read the synopsis, but saw that today. One dollar. Picked it up. Another one I found today... Um, Eye of Cat by Roger Zelazny. This is a book club edition. Not in the greatest shape, but um, not one I've heard about. I read the synopsis, it's kinda uh, wild. Not sure if I'll like this, but um, had to pick it up. And then the most curious of my uh, finds. This is by Jeff Roven, The Transgalactic Guide to Solar System um, M17. This is like heavily illustrated um, fictional travel guide, basically. Uh, it's basically just a huge um, exercise in world building. Uh, there's basically this um, sun with five drastically different planets. Um, I think they're all inhabited by different races. And it just gives you a list of um, what to expect, what to do on each planet, uh, where to go, what to see. Just sounded interesting. Um, and that's it. That's all I got recently. That's what I'm reading right now. Still digging this. Can't wait for the next one to arrive. It takes me a long time to get through this because this is a thousand pages, super tiny print. Um, and I've only skipped a couple things here and there, so it's, it's taken a while. But yeah, like I had said in a previous video, I had never thought of looking specifically for a hard SF anthology. And uh, I'm glad I came across this because I'm uh, really enjoying it. So, oh, I also hit uh, 500 subscribers just a couple weeks ago. Um, crazy. Can't believe it. <laughs> I remember thinking when I started the channel, if I get to 100, then I'd keep going and I'd be satisfied that there was 100 people willing to watch me talk about old books from the 70s <laughs> so uh thank you everyone as always thanks for watching um i do appreciate it and see you next time